the YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Today we're talking about bifold doors. As you can see here, the closet doors, we took out the old ones. They were overlapping solid doors and we installed these new bifold doors. We really like them, but I'll be the first to admit it doesn't matter what brand you get, what size you get, what style you get. It's easier said than done when it comes to the installation part of this job. However, just hit the internet, go to YouTube, spend about 10 to 15 minutes watching videos on how to install bifold doors. There's a lot of helpful videos out there. What I also recommend, the specific brand and style of doors you get, look that company up. It's possible that that company already has made an installation YouTube video, which may help tremendously. It's important that you do get the proper measurements. We had to go with a special order because our measurement of the closet opening was non-standard. Our bifold doors came pre-primed, which was nice. All we had to do was get it out of the box. It already had the hinges. It's a lot easier to paint the doors off rather than on the actual mounts. There's two mounts at the bottom as well as two mounts at the top. I'll show you those in a little bit. Most bifold door designs, they do angle out. As you can see here, I've opened up the doors and they're not straight. They do angle out to the outer portion of the trim, which is nice. It gives you kind of a little more access to the opening. First step in most instructions on doors is the track installation. I'll be honest, the instructions that came with these bifold doors, they were very tough to read. I'm pretty good with instructions as far as reading them and following them, but these were tough. So I actually reverted to the internet, YouTube, and I watched an actual video that the manufacturer for this bifold door put out, and it was very helpful. On top of the doors, there are hanging tabs that mount onto the bracket and there's a couple different designs as far as the actual hanging tabs as you can see here ours had to be screwed in with Phillips screws some actually you can just use a rubber mallet and tap in some doors already have a pre-drilled hole which is a lot more convenient as far as measurements with our bifold doors we got pretty lucky every single mounting bracket that we had to install was a 5 8 measurement from the end of the door to the actual plate and it didn't matter if it was this door or the opposite side as well as the bottom. After you get these metal plates installed on the top of the door, this bracket, that little tab that sticks up, it goes into an actual slot in the bracket and then on the bottom side is a plastic clip that locks it into place. The whole design behind this specific door is it always will hang from this top mount and never put any pressure on the bottom mount. Once it's mounted from above, it basically hangs and it is very strong and supported. And this is the bottom mounting plate. This is all about aligning the actual doors from this point. That bottom tab that you installed, I don't know if you can see it, there it is right there. It's just going to rest itself into here. As you can see here, there is a spring on the bottom portion, so you will push this down as you carry the door into place and allow that actual tab to fit inside this slot. With the model of bifold doors we purchased, that bottom bracket, you do not have to drill any screws into the floor. It's all on the side trim there. So that is another feature that attracted us to this bifold door. Most bifold doors will have locking plates on the back. So once you actually close the door, each of the doors have these little tabs that actually bring the doors together and lock them into place. From here, just get the proper measurements and Make the point where you drill the hole and insert the screw and put on the actual handles. Last thing you want to do is align the doors. There is the top brackets as well as the bottom mounting brackets do allow shift or movement to properly allow you to align those doors so they're not crooked. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hope this helps. Again, a lot easier said than done. I'll be the first to admit that. These bifold doors are pretty tricky when it comes to installing them. So just, again, look up your specific manufacturing brand, model number, and try to find a video that is for your specific bifold doors. That will truly help a lot. Thanks again for watching.